Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today we are discussing Walmart Plus versus Amazon Prime. Because a lot of people are now wondering, since this has been announced, is Walmart Plus going to be better than Amazon Prime? Should I cancel my Amazon Prime and get Walmart Plus, or should I just get Amazon Prime? I, I, I don't know, a lot of people are probably wondering to themselves, what do I get? from both of these different services and which one is better. So let's just dive right into these things. And of course, leave a like, it really does help. Helps me get into the algorithm because it hates me and subscribe because I'm getting really close to 50K. So let's start with Walmart Plus because it's the new kid on the block and we'll give them the first shot to just prove themselves that they're the better service. So what does Walmart Plus get you for $98 a year? Free same day shipping on online orders, including groceries. Now that little part you gotta keep in mind, including groceries, cause that's something we're not gonna see in the next one. A fuel discount of five cents at any Walmart, Murphy USA, Murphy Express, and Sam's Club. And that's it. So you basically just get free shipping on your items and your groceries and uh, a little bit of a discount on your gas. What do you freaking do? I know there's some people that go way out of their way to save a whole nickel per gallon. To me, it's really not worth it. I just get gas wherever is closest because I feel like I'm just wasting time and my time is worth more than 50 cents in my opinion. So that's not a lot for $98 a year. That's really not, because you can already get free shipping for orders over 35. I don't quite understand how this is supposed to draw in a lot of people besides that grocery part. That's the number one thing that a lot of people are probably excited about and want from this service, especially right now, is you don't wanna be around other people. I think this is a little bit late. I think they should have cashed in way earlier. They should have released Walmart Plus back in like April. So they could have gotten a ton of members, a lot of people that do not want to leave their houses. That was the peak of fear, peak of pandemic, just talking about it all the time. It was in our brains I and mean, we're still talking about it. It's still not over with, but that would have been the time to capitalize and buy stocks. That would have been the time to really roll this service out and get as many members as possible. Now, I feel like they've already missed the boat a little bit. If we're talking business strategy wise, I feel like Yes, there are still going to be, there's definitely a market for this. I'm not saying there's not. There are lots of retired people, people that work at home and people that are already using a service to get their groceries. Now, is this cheaper than the service they're using? I don't know. I don't pay someone to go get my groceries. I mean, this could be worth it to many people. I feel like they missed their chance. Is this worth it to me though? 98 bucks a year to get groceries? No. No, it's not to me. However, they are looking to expand the different things, the different features and benefits they're gonna come along with this membership. I just think they should have come up with the benefits before announcing the damn thing. Before making this public, they should have a laundry list of different things that make it good to have this membership. But as of now, it's free shipping. That's about it. I mean, if you're really excited about that five cents off a gallon, cool, you get that benefit too. But I feel like they should have built up their membership before announcing it. I know it's not live yet, so technically it's not out, but the word is out, and that's the first impression that a lot of people are gonna get. So a lot of people like me are like, why would I get this if I already have Amazon Prime and it isn't better and it's close to the same price because Let's get into the Amazon Prime and we'll talk about what Walmart needs to do to e even get close to competing. Amazon Prime is 120 a year. I remember it used to be so much cheaper. Free two day shipping to same day shipping, depending on where you live. I normally get same day because there's a warehouse up in Phoenix. Prime Pantry Groceries, this is their version of the groceries, is an extra $5 a month. So that sucks to me. I would never use that because I could just go to the store, it's not a big deal to me. But if that's an option, another caveat to that is not only is it $5 a month extra to that 120 you're already spending, you also have to spend $40 or more to get free shipping. So you're paying money for something that you then have to spend more to make sure you get free shipping. And it's not guaranteed same day. So again, in the grocery department, Walmart is killing it, but overall as a membership, 
it's already slacking once we get to these next bonus things. Prime video streaming. So there's lots of free movies, lots of TV shows and stuff like that that is included in your Amazon Prime membership. There's also the basic Prime music streaming. Now it's not nearly as good as the Prime Unlimited, which is basically just Spotify, but slightly worse. It's been getting a little bit better, but yeah, you, you have to pay for, again, there's a lot of different add-ons you have to pay for with Amazon, which is another thing. It's just like, are you kidding me? You don't make enough money, but Amazon does have some free music you can stream. It also has Prime Gaming, which is pretty cool, which gives you free games, it gives you free in-game items for different games, and it also gives you a free Twitch sub to your favorite Twitch streamer, whoever that may be. Also, Amazon has a their own credit card, because of course they do, but it gets you 5% off of Amazon and Whole Foods stores. So you get everything on Amazon 5% off and everything at Whole Foods 5% off. To me, that is so much better than a nickel at the gas pump, but I also don't have their credit card. I arguably should be having that credit card considering how much crap I buy off of Amazon, but alas, there you go. There's another feature I didn't even know about because I never need to use it, but they also have unlimited photo storage and like a billion other things like Amazon reading where you can rent books on your Kindle. There are so many different things that Amazon keeps adding to Prime that makes it worth the price tag. Do I think it's a little overpriced? Oh, hell yes. Yeah, it shouldn't be 120. I think Amazon Prime was like 60 at one point, or I was just paying for that at 60 because I was a student, but I feel like 100 bucks is reasonable for a year of Amazon Prime, considering Amazon is making money hand over fist with everything else they're selling on the site, and all their different other services. I mean, Prime Music, Unlimited, you have to pay extra. It's like 15 bucks a month or something like that. You can add on HBO and all these other TV channels to your Prime streaming video. So there's all these different things that they're making money from and yet they're still charging 120 bucks. Not trying to just complain about the price of Amazon, the fact that Walmart doesn't have anything, but that's where we're at with these membership programs. To me, Amazon is worth it just because I order so much stuff and the shipping is so fast and they have a much better selection of items than Walmart does. And I feel like Walmart's website is just not that great overall, whereas Amazon has kind of perfected their website. Even in returns, Amazon is very easy to deal with, especially if you have a Kohl's nearby that allows for Amazon returns. You can just go in and just give them back your items and you immediately get a refund. It's so easy for both. I'm sure it is for Walmart as well, but I don't want to go return things to Walmart because it's Walmart and their return line is always a nightmare. If Walmart wants to compete with the giant Amazon, they're going to need to add more services. They're going to need to add on more benefits than just free shipping. Because at that point, you just need to sit down and calculate, okay, how much do I spend a year on shipping and is this worth it? But that's all they're doing. They're not going, how is this a wonderful value proposition on top of just the free shipping? Now, does Walmart need their own music streaming and video streaming service? I don't think they quite need that, but they definitely do need something. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want another video streaming platform. I really don't because unlike the music streaming platforms, it, it's not as many exclusives on each thing. It's not like, oh yeah, we are the only ones that have this artist anymore and you guys don't. And you have to have both subscription services to listen to all of the music you enjoy. No, but that's how it is for video streaming. So maybe I don't want Walmart involved and I would hate to see Walmart's UI and their logo every single time I went to watch something or listen to something. So overall, unless your main concern for these memberships was groceries, then Walmart really isn't beating out Amazon. In the grocery department, they're destroying them. They really are. And they always will until Amazon gets rid of that $5 extra gets rid of the shipping upcharge where you have to spend 40 bucks to make it free shipping and if they can actually do same day delivery. But right now Amazon here and most places don't have an Amazon neighborhood market or whatever they call it. Walmart has stores everywhere so they can easily guarantee that same day shipping and I've seen that shipping before from other stores like Safeway and whatnot and it works out really well. It's super quick, they're on time, they tell you when they're gonna arrive, you can track their little truck, and they keep everything cold and frozen and whatever it needs to be. So the potential is there 
to take business away from the other services that provide grocery shipping, but I don't see them even putting a dent in Amazon at all because they just can't compete when it comes to those other features and the inventory that Amazon has. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about both these different services. If you think you're gonna get either of them or if you have Amazon Prime already, a lot of people do, or if you are gonna get the Walmart Plus or what would take you to get Walmart Plus? What would make it worth that $98 a year? I mean, if you spend 13 bucks a month, you're kind of an idiot in my opinion. You're like one of those people that just leaves the Xbox Live going or the PlayStation Plus going monthly and you're charging yourself like an extra 80 bucks a year for zero reason. Don't do that. Thanks for watching everyone. Leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and as always, have a fantastic day. See you guys. So yeah, I didn't have a, a drink in this video. Um, not feeling amazing, so I didn't wanna complicate things with a beer or a whiskey or something. And I know this isn't like a Tales from Retail or anything like that, but I have had a lot of people tell me, hey, you should cover this. And I thought it would be interesting because it is, it is retail related and Walmart is a place that we all love to hate and it was interesting to see another giant retail corporation coming out with their own version of Amazon Prime which is something that so many people have and this could potentially make Walmart a bigger company if they do it right. If they start getting the inventory of Amazon I mean, they, they could be the next, I mean, there could be more multiple Amazons and that's good. That's good for us because we want competition and I wanted to cover the competition.